Hey everybody, Awesome at G here, and today we're going to be playing Red Goddess. This is a uh, pre-alpha build. Uh, let's watch this real quick. I can okay awesome so this is red goddess this is made by Yanam studios I hope I pronou I'm pronouncing that correctly um, they've currently got this game on Kickstarter right now uh, you can go over to Kickstarter and back it if you like it look in the description below you'll see links to a couple of different things like their web page their Kickstarter their Twitter stuff like that um, I'm gonna try to Give a little feeling as to what this game's like. I mean, it's an alpha, so there's a limitation as to uh, what I can show. But Yanam Studios is is basically they're they're really well known for for animation, uh, and this is like as far as I'm aware, this is their first real foray into uh, into making a game out of it. They've won up a bunch of awards for different animated shorts and things like that, and, and all their art looks really amazing, so I'm pretty, uh, looking pretty forward to this thing right here, because it's going to look awesome. We're going to get some color here in a second. There we go. Much better. Okay, so obviously the sound effects are are being pre-alpha. They're probably going to change, and a lot of the animations probably going to be altered because the, the ducking animation is very clunky right now. But this game is kind of a uh, from what I've read on their Kickstarter page, it's it's kind of a strange cross between an action platformer and um, kind of like Psychonauts in a way. Because uh, you're you're going to be delving into your own mind and the psyche of other characters and things like that. So, uh, being that there's not really m much else out there, the there's a bunch of concept art available that looks amazing. Uh, the controls are a little odd because I don't have an Xbox 360 controller, and there's no real. Can I jump on you? Nope, apparently not. You don't look you don't look healthy to me. Oh crap. So and th there's no real options built into the game yet, so like volume control is gonna be a little a little awkward for me at first. I'm gonna have to go into the editing and, and adjust that some. Oops. Keep hitting my head. Okay. So I'm going to play around with that a little bit. The controls, I wish I could customize them a little better, because they're a little awkward for me, but once again, it's pre-alpha. You, you kind of expect that kind of stuff not to be polished yet. Oh, that was weird. But anyway, um, their Kickstarter, for right now, if you go and back it, uh, the $10 level on their Kickstarter will actually get you a copy of the game. Um, it's like for the first thousand people that, that back it, uh, and they're at like 710 the last time I checked, I think. So if there's like two or 300 of you that want to go get it, head on over there, pick it up. Uh, watch their video, see some of their other animation to see what kind of style they're into and, and 
what the finished product of theirs is actually going to look like. Um, and that'll give you a good idea as to whether you want to get into something like this. They also have a better outline on their Kickstarter as to what the game's going to be about and how it's going to progress, things like that. So let's explore a little bit. Oh. Okay. Apparently I can't drown in ankle deep. Uh Hi. That toad is one of your memories. You need to enter its mind. Press X to run. Okay. I'm pressing X. It's, it's not working. Oh. That was a different button for me. That was Y. That's okay. I must collect three crystals of memory to remember what happened. I have to activate switches and use teleporters to access them. Yeah, I think I've activated that because it changed color. Can I activate more switches? No, it kind of forces me up here. Okay, that's fine. Now... Whoops. I could divide myself into fear and wrath. Oh, that's X. Okay. I guess that would be wrath and that would be fear. That makes sense. I have the ability to grab and throw my other half. Press X. Hold and press right trigger. Okay, so if I... Let's do that. Whoa. Whoops. Oh! Oh! Okay. Whoops. Can I still jump? Yeah, I can still jump. Okay. Ah, I see. Let's chunk you up there. Uh, hey, there we go. So you can switch between the two, obviously. Here. You have the ability to act... You have to activate the sleepy diamond to bring your other half back. Okay. Nope, that was wrong. There we go. I need to collect these crystals. They are fragments of my memory. Okay. So did I miss some? Oh, I've only got three of six. Okay. Oh, there's one. Let's throw you like that. Oh, just barely. Okay. So that should be good enough. Nope. Wrong button. That'll take a little bit to get used to. Pick you up. No, I just want to pick you up. There we go. So now can I progress this way? One day you fell into this hole. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Back to normal. Hit you. Oh, yeah, I can. Hi. Oh, I killed it. Awesome. Crap. 
crouch. Okay. Damn, even in pre-alpha, a lot of this looks amazing. Levels, the level layouts and stuff, and and the depth to them have a lot of look of uh, 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 the game on the PlayStation with Sackboy. Uh, I forget the name. Uh, Little Big Planet. There you go. Do not come in here. Well, going in there. I saw that traveling ledge. Uh. Oh! Okay, good, I got all the crystals. That doesn't look safe. Oh, yep, that hurts. Ice person? Fear, I think? Pick, pick up. There we go. Okay, yeah, this doesn't hurt her. You'll be sorry. I don't think I will be. I think I'll be awesome. basic puzzle platforming at the beginning. Uh, ow, ow, don't do that. Okay. The buttons are kind of delayed here, but that's all right. Stop doing that. I can't hurt you. Hmm. Can I not pick it up? Do I have it? I think so. Hmm. This might be the end of the demo. I don't know. Take that! Oh god, I'm gonna die. Yep, I'm gonna die. Okay! So I don't think they've got the death animation in yet, which is fine. Once again, it's pre-alpha, so you can't really expect everything to be polished. But this has been Red Goddess. Uh, I think it's got excellent amounts of... of um, oh, I forget the, the phrasing I want to use, but they can go a lot of ways with this, is what I'm trying to say. Um, it seems very exciting to me. I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on this. Uh, I'll tweet about it periodically to keep y'all up to date and let y'all know if they get funded. And uh, we'll go from there. So if you like it, head over to their Kickstarter page, check it out. They've got more information there that I actually put in my video. And back them. 
buy a copy of the game. Uh, help them design some of the art. Uh, depending on your level of backing, you can put stuff into the game with them if you want. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see y'all next time.